today we're checking out my non-regency closet and my local thrift store to see what we can find that would work for a regency costume. This is a gray maxi dress that I bought a few years ago and as you can see it has that empire waist and it's floor length, it's a long skirt and this one also has long sleeves and I think I bought this from Jane.com but there are similar ones on Amazon and other online retailers. This is an easy one because I think most people have a long scarf that can easily be used as a shawl and you can use just about any color. They loved their color during the Regency. I've added a string of gray beads um, that I was gifted, but I think they're probably from Kohl's. Time to dig out those old prom gloves in whatever color. Again, while most gloves were white, they could come in a variety of colors. These are just thigh-high nylons that I think I got off Amazon, but you can get them a lot of places. And shoes. These flats have pointy toes. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got them off Amazon, but a lot of modern flats will work just great. Now, if you're not a sewist, this will come in handy, especially if you are short. Um, a lot of times those maxi dresses will have super, super long skirts. And if you don't want to be walking on your skirt while you are walking around the event or while you're dancing, then grab this. This is fabric tape. It's basically double-sided tape that you can use to hem your skirt. So here it is all put together. In the Regency era, they liked to put a lot of crazy color combinations together, so don't even worry about that. I bunched up the sleeves and bunched up the gloves, as often both sleeves and gloves were very, fairly loose during the Regency era. And there you have it. There is my Regency costume from stuff that I found in my non-Regency wardrobe. Now, if you don't have all of these things in your wardrobe, let's hop over to the thrift store to see what we can find. So first off, I found this prom dress that is the perfect silhouette for a Regency dress. And it has some nice gathering at the bodice. This was one of my favorite finds. It has a really great bodice and sleeves and neckline for a Regency dress and it is also very long, perfect length. And you can't go wrong with solid colors. I really love the pattern in this maxi dress. It actually kind of mimics a sari, which was super popular during the Regency era. They loved their textiles from India. Um, so that is actually a pretty close pattern to what they might have had. Here's another dress that has a pretty close pattern. Um, in the Regency, they loved this Swiss dot. And this is a pretty close color to something that they might have had. Um, they also like to have that embroidery on the hem. Um, this one, obviously you need to do something about sleeves or um, a jacket. I thought this yellow color was really pretty and I liked how the fabric fell. That's a great skirt for a Regency dress. Florals are difficult to find in modern fabrics um, because we just don't make florals uh, very similar to how they did in the Regency, but I liked how flowy this one was and the colors are really nice. Stripes were also definitely popular. Um, not quite these same stripes, but we like stripes. Here are a couple more formal dresses. These are going to be heavier if you're wearing them all day, but they have a really great length and flowiness and this gathered bodice is also very Regency. I love the fabric on this one. Silk was very popular. The bodice isn't super Regency, but I think you could get away with it. They did like their embroidery. And here's a last option, again with that gathered bodice and a nice sash um, that is just flowy and light. Most of these are going to need jackets, and this is actually a decent jacket. Um, they had these little, almost half jackets during the Regency era called Spencer's, and 
This one would actually not do too bad. Um, it's a velvet, which was another popular type of fabric. If you have some sewing skills, um, you could also cut off a jacket um, to make a little half jacket. This one's also not bad. Again, they liked their embroidery. And shoes are going to be the easiest to find. Um, there are always a lot of flats options at thrift stores. Obviously the pointy toed ones are going to be closer to what they had during the Regency. Um, they did like to embellish with bows and fun things. These yellow ones are great. Great color, they loved this color during the Regency and a great shape. Once in a while you can find fabric that would work um, in the textile sections. This is a tablecloth that actually has a pretty good pattern for a Regency dress and there are a couple of them so you would probably have enough to make a nice Regency gown from that. Hopefully that helped you get some ideas of things that you already have that you can use for your costume or things that you can find at your thrift store. Stay tuned for our next video if you are more interested in sewing your costume um, and getting something that's a little bit more historically accurate. And we hope to see you at the Regency Retreat.